The U.N. Secretary General says his inspectors need four days to complete their investigation into allegations that Syria used chemical weapons to kill its own people. But there's already widespread speculation that the U.S. is preparing a military strike to punish the Assad regime. It will likely involve the use of Tomahawk cruise missiles. Military reporter Art Khan is here to tell us how Norfolk-based ships are prepared for an attack that now appears to be imminent. Art? Yeah, you know, Nicole, usually when we speak about the tip of the spear, we're referring to an aircraft carrier. And although an attack on Syria will likely come from the sky, the weapon system utilized in this operation will come probably from destroyers and submarines. Minutes before the guided missile destroyer USS Barry left Norfolk last February, the ship's commanding officers spoke clearly about their mission. Barry's mission is, is to... Uh, to uh, go overseas and do uh, ballistic missile defense, but that is it's a very large architecture and uh, much bigger in scope than just the uh, European theater. Currently, the Barry, along with three other Norfolk-based destroyers, which include the USS Ramage, the USS Mahan, and the USS Gravely, are all on high alert in the Mediterranean Sea, poised to launch a strike on Syria. <laughs> That strike will likely involve the use of Tomahawk cruise missiles launched from the Norfolk-based destroyers and submarines in the area. The cruise missiles these ships carry can deliver a payload that consists of at least a thousand-pound bomb, a warhead that can be either conventional or nuclear. That ordnance can be delivered with near pinpoint accuracy, and the Tomahawk can survive heavy air defenses to reach its target. Other tactical advantages of the Tomahawk cruise missile include its ability to reach targets more than a thousand miles away. The missiles have guidance systems that allow them to circle a target for hours and change course immediately. The missiles can also transmit pictures of the target to controllers aboard the ship. Despite this technology, a strike on Syria would not be without risk. There is no strategy that doesn't involve a risk here. Um, you know, Iran uh, yesterday indicated if there's an effort to take any, by any outside party, to take any steps against the Assad regime, they'd contemplate military action against Israel. Yeah, and Russia has also threatened to get involved on the side of Syria. The risks are fueling an effort by 2nd District Congressman Scott Rigel to require the president to go before a full session of Congress and lay out his intentions before authorizing any kind of military strike into Syria. I'll have more on that part of this developing crisis tonight at 6. Our content on your side.